days, all days. Been a road, been a road. Right, you did something I was real impressed with, man. You did, you, you did a lot of things, accolades wise, especially making money. But the DJ school, mm -hmm. how that come in your brain? What made you put that together? Um, quick and easy, DJ is his name. My school. So right now, I have a location in Baltimore. I have a location in DC. My mm -hmm. location DC is on MLK in Southeast. Mm -hmm. I'm in one in Baltimore, it's in Woodlawn. Um, Prayfully, in the next few months, I have one in Virginia as well. So I'm, I'm, I found a building that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get and open one in Virginia. But the reason why I started, a shout out to my partner DJ Be Easy. Um, that, that's why it's called Quick and Easy DJ. Okay. So okay. Quick Silver Be Easy. Um, but the reason why I started, I've been talking about it for years to myself and to my wife Ashley. Like, you know, I really want to start a school just to give back, right. just to give back and, and really save the culture of DJing. Um, and when I started realizing over the last, I'm gonna say, ten years. Yeah. Um, a lot of the art of DJing has been lost. Right. You know, a lot of these guys really can't DJ. Some mm. of your big names that's your big DJ in the club right. in right. your city, they they can't count bars. Mm. Like they don't know what BPMs are. They don't know mm. how to mix and scratch. They literally play a record, hit a horn, bam, 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 and go to the next record. Right. And bam, 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 they start, hold on, motherfucker, hey, hey, hey. And they play like right. they can't DJ. You couldn't put them in a DJ competition against right. Quicksilver. Right. Because like they they don't they don't have a skill set. Mm -hmm. Um so when I start realizing I'm traveling all these places and all mm -hmm. these big cities, and a lot of these DJs that they really don't have a they have a name mm -hmm. and they can they have they play the right records, mm -hmm. but they can't DJ DJ. Mm -hmm. I'm like, nigga, I've really got to do something to save the culture of DJing. Because if I don't, in the next 10 years, how I yeah. became a DJ yeah. that way of DJing will be gone. Um, so uh, my, my partner, Easy he <clears throat> started doing like classes and little boot camps. And that kind of put the, the battery in my back. Because I've been talking about it mm. for years and years. But I had so much other shit going on. I, could, I just never had the time to find the building and get the curriculum and do all yeah. that. So he had started like a boot camp. And I saw him. I'm like, you know what? I called him, I said, dude, I see what you're doing boot camp. Like I said, let's partner and really do this shit right. Mm -hmm. Like let's do it right. Let's patent it. Let's let's start a business mm -hmm. and let's start opening up multiple locations because this is a school. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, cities give grants for schools. Mm -hmm. Anything that saves young people, people mm -hmm. really pay attention to. Um, so I started it really just to save the culture of DJing. Um, but I, what I love most about it is that um, my youngest student was 12. My oldest it was 69. So, mm. you know, it, right now, um, I, I'm structuring it more now where I can kind of break it up. But right now, it's all ages, mm -hmm. which I love because- I kind of like that. I love it because mm -hmm. you got a 14-year-old in class with somebody that's 40. Yeah. And they're kind of inspiring each other. Because oh, yeah. as a 40-year-old, you don't want this little young nail shining you. And as a 14 or 15-year-old, I don't want to look like the kid where I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So Arn shopping on. Both of understand. And they each understand each other. Music at time, and, yeah. and, and what I love about it, yo, um, is I'm really teaching the fundamentals of DJ. And if you study hip-hop, you know, DJing is the most important element of hip-hop. You got DJ, the MC, break, dance, and graffiti. But if you study hip hop, the, right. the, the lifestyle and the culture, not right. rap music. Hip-hop right. and rap are two different things. Okay. When you study hip-hop, um, you know, it started off as a DJ. Shout out to Cool Herc in the Bronx. Right. right. Um, the goal of the MC, which is the master of ceremony, had one job. That was to hype up the DJ. Mm -hmm. And as he hyped the DJ up, the people would be dancing, break dancing while the, the B-boys doing graffiti. Right. Um, over the years, the MC has turned into a rapper and rap has taken over hip hop. But for me, the DJ is still the most important piece. So that's why this was personal to me. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't about the money. It wasn't about any of that. It was really just making people realize without the DJ, there's no nothing. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. now, you can have the biggest celebrity in your club, the mm -hmm. biggest everything, popping mm -hmm. all the bottles. If Quicksilver will press stop and walks out, the party's over. Right, yeah. The end. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so yeah. you know, yeah. that's the power of the DJ. Right. I look up one day, man, and I see Quicksilver on a reality show. Oh man, me drinking some water before I... A reality show, man. That, that wasn't anything, that wasn't man. God's plan, but it wasn't in my plan. Man, get the people the name of a reality show and how did Quicksilver get on a reality show and, <clears throat> and your wife with you? So, shout out to your wife, you beautiful wife, wife too, Ashley. man. The name of the show is Love and Marriage DC. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Oprah Winfrey, he's on Oprah's own network. Um, Carlos King, King of Ring Entertainment is, is the, the guy who had the, the brain child behind it. Um, but this, this, um, this wasn't planned. So, um, what a lot of people don't know, um, uh, you know, I've done TV. I've done 106. I've done other TV shows. But I always was in control of whatever I was on on TV. Um, I had no idea, or I had no, no, I had no interest of doing reality TV. Right. To me, I never watched reality TV. Right. That shit was for, for women. Like, I, right. I, we went home right. watching Love and right. No Reality. That's not what we was. Mm -hmm. So I never watched reality TV, but I heard about it, of course. And I, mean, I heard about the Love and Hip Hop, right. all that type right. of shit. 
Um, but what people don't know, um, Real Housewives have reached out to my wife mm-hmm. a few years ago to, re- to do Real Housewives of Potomac. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. um, you know, it didn't happen for a number of reasons. Um, but I was so against I'm like, we're not doing reality right, TV. Yeah, that right, should break right, up marriages. Right, it's corny. Yeah, yeah. All they want to do is argue yeah. and who can spill the most tea. Right. And, and like that, that's 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 not me. I'm not, I'm not doing that shit. And I don't need it. Like right, I don't, right. I'm already popular. I already right, got money. I like right. what, what am I doing it for? Right. Um so and and I know she wanted to do it because, you know, you know, it was it was a, a check and and it would help her with her brand and she has a book out now mm-hmm. called Do That Shit. So I knew she had a, a vision of why she wanted to do reality TV. So that didn't work out. Mm-hmm. Fast forward, um, we get a call from Carlos King that they're doing a show called Love and Marriage DC. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he, he, we have a, a conference, a Zoom call with him at the time, and he, he's selling us on what it is. And my team, you know, they was like, absolutely not quick. You're not doing reality TV because reality TV is for two people. Mm-hmm. It's for people who need money or somebody that's old, that's, that was hot, trying to and the they're fire. trying to relight the fire. Right. Like, this can do more damage than they can do good for you. Right. Like, what, you know, mm-hmm. is it worth it? Right. Um, and the reason why I even considered it is because my wife, I'll be right. honest. That's the honest right. to God answer. Is like the real boss spoke. The real yeah. boss. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. it wasn't like, baby, you got to do it. Right, yeah, I it was like, you know, yeah. I know what this can do for with the brand that I'm trying to build. Right. And I've always been there for you. I've all, right. nigga, that's been my ride that for 20 years. So she's right. like, you know, let, let's try it and at least see what it does. Mm-hmm. Let's try and see what it does. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if we don't like it, we ain't locked in for life. We can, mm-hmm. we can quit or we can whatever, right. walk away at this season. Mm-hmm. Um, and we did season one. Um, you know, it was definitely some drama and bullshit right, on there. Right. Um, and and you know, I, I I quickly learned that, especially with social media. You know, right. social media, Twitter, that they're brutal. They yeah. they got an opinion about everything. Right. We call them the peanut right. game. They got an opinion about everything. Right. Um, you know, you got to have thick skin to be on reality mm-hmm. TV. Because uh, you got a lot of people that don't know you that just form opinions. And what right. you got to realize, we film five days a week, eight, nine, ten hours a day for a scene that's two minutes. Right, yeah. So, you know, you got people that pass judgment on who they think you are and what you should have did or what you right. did do, not knowing that, you know, th- that was two minutes out of 24 hours of my day. Right. So, you know, you know, you know, that was the hard part for me is just realizing that, um, you know, it is reality, you know, mm-hmm. um, but some of the stuff just like, it's 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 heightened for TV. Right. Yeah. In the, the day, we got to have a good show that people watch. Right. right. And and I think um, you know it, when I say the pros and cons, um, for me, especially by now season two, now that I've learned on mm. on what not to say, because this is why I tell people with reality TV, anything you say is like court. Right. Yeah. We use we'll, against we'll, you. We'll, we'll use against you. Right. And you can't be like I ain't right. say that. Like right. yeah, they're gonna run the tape. Like actually, right. you ain't say that, Kirk. Well, right. here's yeah. Kirk saying right. I yeah. fucking hate quit. Right. Yeah. Like, God yeah. damn, I did say that. My bad. I was drunk right. when I. Right. But now what happens is when you say something or do something, you know you got not just the guys in the camera. You got people, ten people in the ears. Like oh my god, let's harp on that. Right, yeah. Let's, let, let's stay there for a minute. Right. So now you might have felt some type of way today, but I don't feel it way tomorrow. Like, right. I, move, I got a ton of other, but now we got to follow that. Right. Because you brought it up on TV. Right, yeah. So, you know, by season two, you learn to like, me, me watch what I say. Right, yeah. Because anytime I'm mic'd up, right. you know, I might, right. anything I say, they hear every fucking thing. Right, yeah. Um, so, you know, that's how we ended up on reality. We're on season two right now. We actually on mid break. Um, it comes back on. So, um, episode one through ten already came on. Episodes eleven through twenty one, um, they're already done. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think we come back on the end of June and beginning of July. Mm-hmm. Um, but I had no I I had no I had no um, reality TV just wasn't my thing. Sure. Like, you know, it's, it's, I mean, I don't right. want to say it still ain't my thing, but right. like you know, I'm doing it now more you know to to support my wife and right. you know and and, and it, it has helped. What, what I will say with TV that's different from radio mm-hmm. and everything else that I've done. Um, you know, Quicksilver has been a household name popular mm-hmm. um, for, for decades. Mm-hmm. Um, radio makes you popular. Social media makes you popular. TV makes you famous. Right, yeah. It's a big difference. Right. Um, so since doing TV, um, I've definitely noticed a big difference. So mm-hmm. now I can't go to the airport without right. people on pictures. I, right. I, if I walk into the supermarket, it's, it's, it's pandemonium. Right, right. Um, but, but for me, it's like for some people, that, that excites them. Right. For me... 
if yeah. I ain't getting the extra check go off that, yeah. like, I, it, you know, it'll mean a whole lot. I, it, you know, I, right. I've, I've been a center of attention right. for years. Exactly. So for people right. that are new to reality, even some people just want to show now, okay. you know, they feed into it. Right. Cause this is new to them. I've right. never been trending. I exactly. never, like, for me, right. you know, people get excited when they trend. I don't yeah. give a fuck cause I didn't make the money that, you know, right. off that, that, off that, you got know. It. The business man, but, you right. can't I'm a businessman right. first right. through 10. Right. So, okay. And I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about some people before I go to this. Shout out to Raina. It, um, my man, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie the, the Tyler's, we yeah, call them the yeah, Tyler's. Yeah, Tyler, mm -hmm. yeah, Tyler. We're we gonna get them up here. We're trying to get the dates together. Absolutely. Y'all doing y'all thing. Shout out Thank to you, them, man. definitely, man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say some names. I want you to give me whatever comes to your mind about your opinion about them. Mm -hmm. Charlemagne the God. Um, the first word I think of. Even though I know people say a lot of negative stuff about him, the, the dude has, um, Created his own lane, and right now he's one of the most powerful bad people boy. in the media. Bad boy, so you, bad whether boy. you like him yeah. or hate him, you gotta, you gotta respect, respect him. him. You gotta respect him. That nigga's powerful right now. Kevin Lyle, that's my OG. I mean, that yeah. nigga raised me, raised yeah. me. I mean, he, when I say raised me, he literally raised me in the industry. That's been my guy. He's from Baltimore, right? So Kevin Lyle's has has raised me from a pup in the industry and teaching me. You know how to read deals and how to structure my shit and how to negotiate. He one of the first people who told me quick. You never get what you deserve. You get when you negotiate. I said that when I first walked in, right, right. and I, and but and, but I got that from him. Right. You never get what you deserve. You get what you can negotiate. Okay. Right. Um, and he taught me this, which is so important. The music business is that. It's a business. Right. It's ten percent music, ninety percent business. Mm. So the reason why a lot of people never make it because they think just because the music and their mm. talent, mm. if you don't have the business end of it, you get yeah. looked over every time. Yeah. Try to okay. Um, um, Damon Dash. Um, Damon Dash, flashy, <laughs> oh, okay. but 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 Dame, but but Dame, another one. Right. Business wise, you know, you can feel how you want to feel about him now, yeah. um, but you know what Rockefeller did. You know, as my man Biggs always said, redo '96. What Rockefeller did with right. Dane Biggs and Jay, right? right. How can right. you not respect it? Tank Davis. That's my. That's that's the, that's the home team. Right. Matter of fact, that's the face of boxing. Right. Okay. Floyd yeah. might not. Well, Floyd can agree to it now because he, he retired. Right. But yeah. Tank is our generation's Floyd. Yeah, we, 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 I agree with whatever that. generation you was, if it was Tyson or whatever. That today, right. the now. Mm -hmm. Boxing is Javante Tank Davis. He's Real fast before we run out of time. You good? What would you like to say to the, the the youth in Baltimore and DC because both cities off the chain? Man. What advice would you give them? First thing I'm gonna say is, um, you know, and it sounds cliche when I say it, but it, I mean it. Never let where you come from dictate where you're going, mm -hmm. and never let what you've been through in your life dictate your outcome. I'm a walking testimony, mm -hmm. literally that you can make it and right. you can go through shit. I've been through everything bad, shit that we can't even talk about. Right. I've been through everything bad you can think of. Been there, done it, had it done, all that. Right. But I just never gave up. I never gave up. I never said, and I never make excuses. A lot of us, we make excuses the way we are. I'm the way I am because I grew up in the hood. Right. The way I am because my dad was incarcerated right. or my mother was on drugs right. or my, my dad, like, like I, I don't have no mom, no dad. I, I don't have no college degree. Like I, I, I easily could be, right. A uh, knucklehead, mm -hmm. um, but you gotta want it. You gotta want it. I don't care how bad yeah. Kirk wanted or how bad Quick wanted. If you don't want it for yourself, nobody else can make you believe in it. You right. can't expect somebody to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. Okay. Um, so what I would say to the youngest that's wilding, I get it. I, I I did it. I've been there, done that. I get it. Um, and and once again, I can't judge you right. Um, because right now what's happening, and I just had this conversation with the mayor of Baltimore and DC. What's happening right now? Um, it's a retaliation thing that's happening now. Mm -hmm. Right now, mm -hmm. it's hard to tell a young to stand down. Mm -hmm. If I killed your kid right now, mm -hmm. and I, could, could, you yeah. could somebody tell you stand yeah, down? Exactly, right. Because right right uh -huh. ain't no stand down. Right. If you do something on my, right. my, my son and my right. daughter, I'm telling right. you now, mm -hmm. when I see you, I'm, I'm like, it yeah. is what it is. Right. So when, 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 you, when you've had a cycle of this for, right. for years and yeah. decades, um, right now, you know, it's easy for us to be on the sideline, especially when we're not giving them resources, we're not mm -hmm. giving them jobs, right. we're not giving them things they need right. that they can you know, flourish from it. And I know a lot of the cities and mayors yeah. and governors, they're trying. Right. So I, I definitely commend right. Mayor Bowser, right. Mayor Brandon Scott exactly. in Baltimore. They're definitely trying. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, right now, it's, it's a lot, man. I, I wish I had an answer right. that, that, that can stop no, yeah, it but immediately. You, you, you touched on You said yeah. a lot in that. And, yeah, I, was, and, and but, I think they can feel that and with your experience and being paralyzed. But being I would say it's, country, it's a right. never-ending cycle. Right. Uh, or you can break the cycle. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. literally, let me say it again. it's a never ending cycle. You can break this cycle because right. right now, if I shoot Kurt, he gonna shoot me. Then yeah. my brother gonna shoot you. My my big homie, they gonna shoot you. Right. I mean, it is. We all got guns. We right. all so everybody tough and you. Right. So 
right now, yeah. how long is that gonna go on before right. all y'all did or right. in the box? Exactly. Life in exactly. prison. I got a cousin right now. I got shout out Free P D Adams. That's my cousin. That's my my right hand right. doing life in prison right now. Okay. Life. I've been fighting to get him out. He's been in jail now for the last 20, 23 years. Right. I'm right. young, you know, two years older than me. So like, you know, right. I tell people. You don't want to end up like that. We one this. We're all one decision away from a completely different life. Three seconds away. Yeah. Yeah. My main man. I love you, man. man. You my guy, Can't man. Can't do man. It's a pleasure, honor, man. man. Anything, yeah. any handles you want to shout out real fast? Oh, for man. Right now? Nah, man, whatever, man. At DJ Quicksilver and everything. Of course, you can hit me on the radio. My radio show is syndicated now worldwide. Um, I'm still heard in DC and Baltimore, but you can hear me in multiple cities now. Um, watch me on TV, uh, DJing. I'm all over the place. C3 Dub is the is the brand. Quick and easy DJs. Um, I, I'm 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 in I'm in the in the works right now. I give you exclusive soon, but I'm opening up a restaurant very very soon. I'm okay. um, in Baltimore that we, we just got the building for. So they love me in Baltimore. Yeah, come on, my naughty part of it. Let on, me know. Man. Like, so like that, that's that's my my big thing right now. Honestly, right. Right. I know I know we gotta wrap it up. Right. Um, when people always say, "Quick, what do you want to be known as?" Right. I don't want to be known as an OG. I don't want to be known right. as a as a legend or right. as a celebrity. None right. of that shit. I want to be known as an inspiration. inspiration. That's it, man. If, if I, I in my radio show the same way every day, I say if I inspire at least one person, right. I've done my job. And I pray today that I've inspired somebody who watches this because right. that's my vision. Like that's my goal is just to inspire people, not by my words. Right. We can talk shit all day, right. but by my actions, right. by my life. Mm -hmm. and we, I got a doc, I forgot to plug it, but that shit. I got a documentary coming out called Who is Quicksilver? Right. Um, coming out this year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of stuff that we didn't talk about, when people watch my documentary, they can be like, holy shit. Right. Like, I thought dude was just a dude that DJ, DJ got lucky. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't know this nigga been right. through all this shit. Right. I ain't know his family. So, so like, you know, that that's, that's, that's in the works, man, so. Man, thanks again for coming, man. Appreciate you, man. Make Keep doing sure your thing, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to Kirk Bone TV. This is the OG, y'all. Make yo. sure y'all follow Quicksilver at, at DJ Quicksilver with an A. And an A. And then closing with my quick uh, jewel. But basically, he said all the youngers, eye for eye. Eventually, it going to have to come to a halt. I see dudes, not every day, but a lot, that both people, we lost people on both sides. Facts. And believe me, it's not bad as you think it's going to be. You young, you going through a process. But it got it, it got to get all all wars in it sometime. Yeah. Make sure I subscribe to Kirkbone TV. Thanks for having you. The these the kingpin of partying. Right, right. Quick silver. <laughs> Thanks, man. Out the park, niggas know me. Kirkbone, little homie. All days, all days. Been a road, been a road. Thank you for watching Changing Jewels on Kirkbone TV. If you like the jewels that we are dropping, subscribe, hit the notification, and share with some friends. And I'll see you on the next episode of Changing Jewels, Kirkbone TV.